I thought what you said in the ring was exactly on the money. And I'm happy to help you take Justine down by, how did you put it? Tear apart her past? That's it. I think Justine's plan is to steer clear of you before the WrestleMania match, which is official, by the way. But if you want to get the upper hand, you might not have to take the fight directly to Justine anyway. Taking some steps to remind Justine about her biggest regrets will go a long way. I have a few ideas, and I've already made some calls to get a couple of other WWE legends to help too. I gotta ask, are you just helping me so that you can get back at my aunt? Oh, there's definitely an element of revenge to it. Do you know what it's like for people to think I'm the villain of my story? But I also meant what I said to you on day one at Survivor Series. I'm here to help you. Justine's so stuck in the past and her grievances that she's forgotten her obligation to help the next generation, even her own niece. Ain't that the truth. Are you ready to get started? I do have one idea that involves a certain red-haired, moonsaulting WWE legend. But with the amount of grievances your aunt has against this company, there's definitely more than one way to approach this. You talking about Lita? Who else could it be with that description? Let's start with her then. What are you thinking? One thing your aunt could never shut up about was that Lita got the first women's cage match in WWE, not her. A steel cage match with Lita would certainly rub that in her face. Lita's just going to agree to that? No. But if you lure her to Raw by making her think she's getting another Raw Women's Championship opportunity, confront her backstage, and I bet you can get her in a match. After her near miss with Becky Lynch last year, she still got an itch. Done! I'll do it. WWE legend and Hall of Famer Lita has graced us with her presence here tonight. From behind, what is she doing here attacking Lita? No clue, but it looks like she wants a fight. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, I I'm getting worried that this isn't good. We need to get some help back there, guys. Boom, boom, persistent barrage. That's mounted with punches and not, oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. It's gonna be agonizing for the arm. Oh, that can shatter a jaw. Oh, brutal forearm. Oh, hangman's neck breaker. Up and down, what a gourd buster. Vicious knee. Ah, look at this. Effectively targeting the arm. Kick to the gut and, oh, brutal forearm. Nasty hit on the face. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh! Close line! Uh-oh! She returns the favor there. Big forearm. She's got something wicked in mind. Connecting with the Falcon Arrow! Oh, man, by the hair! Oh. Hair whip! Uh. Step up for the uh. Russian oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. Ah, uh. oh, she fights Lita back. 
Talk about rocking the jaw. That's a few times now she's taken a hit up in that region. The Irish curse. Ripcord, Lariat. Ripcord. I don't see them getting up after that. And with good reason. Well, look who it is. A ding dong, get out of my locker room. Hi, Bailey. Here to steal someone else's sponsorship deal? Is that why you're after Lita? She's got one you want, doesn't she? Wow, you have quite a one track mind, Bailey. So what? Don't need more than one track when it's the right track. I'll be watching you. Kind of creepy. But, fine with me. You're more than welcome to watch me beat Lita. I hope you won't make a habit of being here on Raw. Nice to see you too, Charlotte. And don't try pulling what you pulled on Lita on me. First of all, you wouldn't succeed. I'd wipe the floor with you. But I'd rather not expend the minimal amount of time and effort it would take to do so. Right. We can agree to disagree. But don't worry. I don't have time for you either. I'm focused on other opponents right now. You know, ones that actually pose a challenge. If you need any advice when it comes to steel cage matches, I'm happy to help. It's one thing to take on a legend, but I've taken on a McMahon in a steel cage. Naturally, it was a memorable instant classic of a match. Wait, didn't you lose that match? Win, lose, who really remembers? Just don't let your opponent weasel out of their clothes to escape. That would be an embarrassing way to lose. You know, hypothetically. Right. I think I'm good on advice. Suit yourself. You know. Provoking WWE legends is usually a bit frowned upon by management. I needed to get Lita's attention. Besides, another WWE legend provoked me first. As management, I'm supposed to say that's no excuse. Consider this a warning. And as Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid who's not WWE management? You certainly know how to entertain. And knowing Justine, I'm sure it's getting under her skin.
The road to WrestleMania is paved in steel tonight as the legendary Lita and her opponent square off in a steel cage match here on Raw. After suffering a brutal backstage attack, Lita will be looking to teach her attacker a lesson about respecting her elders. Make that Hall of Fame elders, Saxton. Absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. She's off to the races up the cage. Making the big climb towards victory. <laughs> Trying to make their way out of the cage. She's making that ascension up the cage. It's going to take a lot of willpower to make it all the way to the top. Is this the right time? Is this the right moment? Look easy. She's probably come to the realization of how high up she is now. All that hard work about to pay off. Just gotta get your feet on the floor. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner. Based on how much Justine's been mouthing off on her podcast lately, seems like what you're doing is working. Not that I had any doubt. And with WrestleMania right around the corner. What are you thinking? I think it's time I stop avoiding Justine. The two of us need a face-to-face, -face, and I know exactly where to do it. Of course, it's obvious to anyone with a brain that my niece's efforts to undermine me, to undermine my legacy, are really the attempts of a weak, scared little girl. I just want to talk. Seems that we have an unexpected guest today. You may know her from her recent humbling loss to me at Elimination Chamber. My niece. Or as she always asked to be called growing up, Little Justine. So, LJ, I've got to ask, how does it feel to be nurtured by the best in the business and still be such a letdown? You know, you were the best in the business, Aunt Justine. I'm sure you didn't make the trip here to tell me what I already know. But isn't that what you said you want? For someone to give you your due? See, after the initial shock of seeing you at Elimination Chamber, I've had some more time to think. And you're right. You were never given proper credit for what you did and what you accomplished. So you did join me to make my own point. What's that you said on SmackDown? About having to survive a world five times as hard and seven times as brutal? In the moment, I think I would have said you were making excuses. But now I know you're exactly right. You did work harder to get less. You should have been the main event week after week when you were in WWE. Sure, 
They threw praise on your name after you retired when management decided they needed to add another woman to the Hall of Fame. Or now when they want to get a Legends ratings bump. Fans buy into that nostalgia but forget what it was really like for you. How they treated you when you were on the roster. What do you know about it? You don't understand. But that's just it. I do understand. You've been teaching me since my first day in WWE. And you know what I finally really get? Everything that you've complained about, that you're mad at, for all that you blame management or other things beyond your control. It's always been me who's been your real target. Because I'll never know the limitations that you did. I will get to push myself in ways you never could, have opportunities that you never would have been given, and see how far I can really go. And you? Justine, you're a legend. The best of her time. Maybe could have been the best of all time if you had a level playing field. But the fact that you'll never know when I will, that's what you'll never forgive me for. And that's what's going to allow me to replace your legacy with my own. You ungrateful You're a selfish, self-centered, only thinks for herself. Because I'm the only one I could ever count on. Looks like we have something in common then. Because I certainly couldn't count on you. You don't deserve your talent. It should have been me. But it's not you, Justine. It's not you. It'll be me at WrestleMania. I've still got it. <laughs> sure. You've got what's left. Enjoy it while it lasts. But me? <laughs> I'm just getting started. You planning on stealing my title tonight? Your title? I excuse me? Is the SmackDown Women's Championship yours? Calm down, kid. I'm not talking about a championship. I'm talking about my honorific title, Mr. WrestleMania. Wouldn't it be... You know what? Never mind. If you mean do I plan to have the match of the night, then yes. Justine won't know what hit her. That's what I like to hear. And you should obviously always be focused on winning your match, especially tonight with everything that's on the line for you. But don't forget to have fun out there too. I'll try. I'm not sure my aunt's betrayal has been particularly fun for me though. I don't know, kids. Sometimes fun means being the daylight out of a once trusted friend or family member. WWE superstars, we are just built different. Thanks. I think. WrestleMania. Can you believe it? Would it come off as entitled if I said that I can? I mean, I'm here and it's happening. Aw, LJ. 
Regardless of what you do, you'll always come off as entitled to me. Ava! Just kidding. But seriously, kick her ass out there. After everything she's put you through, you deserve it. Good Thanks, luck. Thanks, Ava. Seen a lot of people go out on the grandest stage of them all, but this feels different. Who are you rooting for, Tom? Ah, oh, LJ, don't ask me that. You know I love you both. I just want the two of you to sort this out. I don't know if that's possible. Justine gets bent out of shape about everything. You saw how she reacted when I dredged up her past and all the things that bother her. Well, no. now she's just looking out for herself. That may be, but both the friend and the fan in me is hoping for a time when you two are past all of this. I guess watching you come out in her gear in your debut just put an idea in my head of how things could be if you work together. We'll see, Tom. We'll see. It doesn't get any bigger than the grandest stage of them all, and it doesn't get any more heart-wrenching than a battle between the love relatives turned bitter rivals. And that's exactly what we've got at Wrestle Freaking Mania for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Every generational grudge match has led to this. It goes back a lot further than that, Saxton. A lifetime of idolizing her legendary aunt culminates here in this explosive showdown. The champ getting put to the test here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. cemented her own legacy within WWE. We could be seeing this image at WrestleMania for years to come. Wait, what's happening? I'm not sure. Can Justine be trusted here? I don't believe it. It seems that even Justine's small heart grew three sizes today. If these two can get over the differences after the rivalry they've had, then anyone can do it. Look out! What the hell? The new champion was just ambushed from behind! 
and maybe the end of this rivalry, but this champion story in WWE is just getting started. Thank you.